Hi everyone, it's Mr. Schneider again. Um, today we're going to talk about Podcast 3, no, sorry, Unit 5, Podcast 3, uh, the executive branch at the state, local, and federal levels. Let's start with the uh, local level, Fairfax County Executive Branch. Our county executive is an appointed position, meaning he, he, the person's not voted on by the citizens. Uh, it's selected by the Board of Supervisors, and some of the things that person does is a uh, strategic planning and you know, planning for the county. Um, excellence in public service, making sure the people that work for you in this county are doing a good job. Uh, partnerships with residents and community le leaders, uh, helping prepare the annual budget, and uh, just doing things that the Board of Supervisors asks of that person. Uh, right now, our county executive is a man named Edward Long. At the state level, uh, our executive branch, uh, there's a number of different people in it, the governor, the lieutenant governor, the attorney general, and the uh, government. The governor has a cabinet. Um, right now, our governor is Bob McDonnell. Uh, governors in this state are elected to four-year terms. They cannot serve two consecutive terms. So when Mr. McDonald's term is up, uh, he cannot run again. Well, he can run again, but he has to wait four more years. And uh, he helps to appoint members of a cabinet who oversees specific functions of government. Uh, some of his roles, I'm not going to read all these to you because I don't want to bore you to death. I'm sure you have other things to do. Uh, he's the chief of state. Uh, he, that means he's the head of our the state government. He's chief legislator. Um, he can propose legislation and then he can sign or veto. Veto means to not accept legislation. He's a chief administrator. He's the head of the executive branch of the Virginia government. And he helps to uh, enforce or carry out the state laws. Uh, he's the party chief. That doesn't mean that he's throwing all sorts of fabulous parties. Uh, he's a leader of the political party. Mr. McDonald is a Republican that controls the executive branch. Uh, he helps to raise money for the Republican Party. He backs candidates in local elections. And uh, he's the commander-in-chief of our defense forces. He uh, heads our reserves or our militia. Uh, he can ask uh, for federal military assistance in emergency uh, instances. Uh, we have a lieutenant governor. Our, our lieutenant governor is uh, Bob Bowling. Um, He's like the vice president of the state, except that we have separate elections for the governor and the lieutenant governor. So it is possible that we could have a Republican governor and a Democratic lieutenant governor, but we don't have that. Mr. Bowling is a Republican. Uh, there's no term limit. You can be the lieutenant governor as many years as you want. He presides over the Virginia Senate, and I, for some reason the governor is unable to fulfill his duties. Uh, the lieutenant governor would serve as governor. And we have an attorney general. Uh, he also is elected to a four-year term. He can serve consecutive terms. He represents the legal interest for our state, and uh, he provides legal assistance to the members of the General Assembly and members of the uh, state government. And our uh, Attorney General is a man named Ken Cuccinelli. Uh, and then the federal executive branch, uh, they execute the laws of the land. They prepare the annual budget for a congressional act. I mean, the executive branch prepares it. Congress votes on it. They appoint cabinet officials, ambassadors, and federal judges, and they administer the federal bureaucracy. That means the, the people that run the government, the executive branch of the government. Our president, of course, is, a Barack, is Barack Obama. He's a Democrat. Some of his roles, he's the chief of state. He's a chief executive. Uh, he's a chief legislator, commander-in-chief. He's a chief diplomat. That's something the governor doesn't do. Uh, he uh, works on our foreign policy. He's also the chief of his party, and he's a chief citizen. He is, uh, when you think of the United States, he represents all the citizens of this country. Whether you agree with him or not, he's still the president. Uh, some things they do to influence, the president does to influence the policy making. Uh, he can propose legislation. The president gives an annual speech called the State of the Union Address. It's uh, always in January. Uh, he can appeal directly to the people. I'm sorry, he or she. Oops. Lights on. No. Uh, sorry, Ted, the lights back on. Uh, he can appeal directly to the people through news conferences, through tape speeches. Um, I'm sorry, through television appearances. Uh, he can approve or, sign or veto legislation, and he helps appoint officials to his cabinet who help carry out the law. Uh, the president's cabinet, there's 15 uh, executive departments. I've listed them all there, you know, Secretary of State, Agriculture, so on and so forth. Uh, they work with the president, help him, 
to carry out to execute the laws of the land. All right, so that's a quick overview of the executive branches, the three levels. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you soon. Thanks.